Now, the governor's stay at home order gives exemptions to any number of things. One of those items is getting more attention tonight. It is. The governor deemed abortion as an essential medical procedure. Local force Rod Maloney is live tonight with how one local township board is asking the governor to change that. Rod. Yes, Kimberly, you know, we've heard a lot about the inconsistencies in the governor's extended stay at home order. Uh, one of the things that people have said is that, well, you can smoke grass, but you can't mow it. But then there's also this issue of abortion and Shelby Township has decided to weigh in. The governor's executive order states this issue in the positive quote. Licensed medical providers have the responsibility to use their best clinical judgment to determine whether procedures are necessary to preserve the health and safety of their patients such that the procedures should not be postponed. Among the exemptions, abortion. In fact, in interviews and news conferences since her original order, the governor made it clear that she views abortion as a life-sustaining procedure. It, it doesn't make any sense. To pro-life Shelby Township Supervisor Rick Stathakis, you need to look at it in the negative. It's inconsistent and it's not fair. So he wrote a resolution the Shelby Township Board unanimously approved last night, demanding the governor change course. If a hip replacement endangers everybody's health, so does abortion. And he asks her to please close the loophole and make sure that these procedures are not contributing to an increased burden of our health care system and, and also the spread of um, a COVID-19. In the end, though, it's a political battle on both sides. The governor's office today saying there are no plans to change course here. She's using this as a political tool. Here we are in a pandemic and she's playing politics with something she should not be doing. Now, uh, Stathagus is telling us essentially that he knows that the, the resolution is non-binding, uh, but he's reached out to the governor, wants her to respond. He hasn't heard from anybody in the governor's office yet, but he says he's going to continue uh, undeterred. He says he's going to try and get other uh, townships in the area to do the same thing that its township board did last night. Reporting live, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Keep us posted on what happens, Rod. Thank you.